Peter Rosenberg is a popular radio host who has made a name for himself through his bold and unfiltered commentary on various topics, including the entertainment industry. Recently, he found himself in the headlines after roasting fellow podcaster Andrew Schultz for revealing a private matter regarding actress Lauren London. <laughs> right, right. Either way, congratulations. You're going to see you this. Yourself. Uh, what you got, Rosenberg? Um, this I saw this headline earlier. Um, you people actor Andrew Schultz claims Jonah Hill and Lauren London kiss was made with CGI. And I watched the clip here of the old uh, Brilliant Idiots podcast, and Andrew Schultz says, yo, there's a hilarious thing. I don't even know if I should share this, but the final scene, they don't even kiss. It's CGI. Swear to God, son. And goes on to explain how in the final scene at the wedding, there was no actual kiss. The biggest, con there's several congrats here. The biggest congrats him saying, I don't know if I should share this. Bro, this is the first real movie on your entire IMDb, and you're going to go say, I don't know if I should share something they did CGI, that they clearly wouldn't go advertising they did CGI. But I'm going to go ahead and share it. So number one, the button for that. Number Congratulations, two, you played yourself. Does it not cross anyone's mind when they're speaking publicly on this like You People movie that A, it's pathetic that we're still having these conversations about an interracial relationship in a movie and it's that big a deal like this many years after guess who's coming to dinner we're still having the same conversation but also anyone aware that lauren london has been through a serious trauma and lost her husband and so maybe there was discomfort around doing romantic stuff on camera period because she's a recent widow i mean is that not like obvious to people while everyone's analyzing were they intimate enough on camera like, shouldn't we just be happy Lauren London's out here doing movies again and being yes. a part of... Then you're sitting here worried about whether or not the kiss was real? Wow. And then, to I Andrew Schultz, Andrew Schultz's character plays a, a January 6th Trump-loving uh, sympathizer in the movie. Bruh, that's too, car that's too close to who we really think you are, my G. <laughs> oh Might have wanted to pass on that. Hit this guy with the button. Hit them for putting him in the movie. Congratulations. You played yourself. I don't know if I should share this, but there was this secret backstage that no one wanted anyone to know. Let me tell you on the podcast. It's just a podcast. Ebro in the morning with Laura Styles and Rosenberg. I, I, you know what? Maybe I'm a bad guy. I, I just don't like him. Am I allowed to say that publicly still? But you're a bad I'm, guy. Does that? No, no, no. Not that I'm a bad guy. <laughs> you can you're say that whenever guy. you want. Or am I, does it make me a bad guy to openly admit that some people just give me the, the heebie-jeebies? No. No, you can. You're entitled to feel how you feel. Yeah. There's, there's, there's something I don't like. I don't trust it. You don't trust it. I don't trust it. Yeah, I kind of wanted to get the button to uh, AMC, too. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because yeah, I hear you. Because right? they think they're an airline now. <laughs> right. So for primary seats to sit in the middle, you have to pay more money. And you get cheaper seats in the front row or on the sides. It's like, I thought you were trying to encourage people to go to the movies. I, I know it feels, feels like the it feels it feels very Netflixy in terms of the decision. Like we know what we're gonna do, annoy everyone. I know, but like go over there and sit in the broke seats. Like, oh <laughs> right. my god! When everybody can basically sit in the comfort of their home for the most part and just right. wait for the movie to come out in a month. I don't, I don't think that's gonna win for you. Maybe, I, like, I like it. Maybe cheaper seats all around. I like there's like more bodies in the seats. It's go great, ahead, Cass. It's great for late people like me. <laughs> I can reserve my seat and just show up. Two minutes before the movie and be good. But by the way, you could still do that. It just would be the same price as all the other seats. Yeah, no, you can. No, the seat will be taken. What, what do you mean? mean? I mean, the seat won't be there open by the time I get there. Oh, I oh get you're, there, saying, you're saying if you reserve the expensive seat. Right. You can sell. No, right. no, no. But you could still buy tickets for a specific seat right now. Yeah. Oh, you Any can? Seat? Most of the movies. Yeah. Yo, you haven't been to the movies in a long You can reserve <laughs> a seat right now at a regular Yo, Cass, movie theater? Yeah. Cass, honest you question. You buy online. That's the regular wow. movie at this point. Anyway. When was the last time you went to a movie theater? Uh, when we saw Black Panther. Okay. The controversy began when Andrew Schultz, a podcaster and comedian, announced that Lauren London had decided not to kiss Jonah Hill in a new Netflix movie. According to Schultz, the production company had decided to use CGI to create the kissing scene. This news quickly spread and sparked a lot of discussion on social media and other platforms. Peter Rosenberg felt that this was not Schultz's business to reveal such information, 
especially since this was Schultz's first IMDb-credited movie. In his opinion, Schultz should have kept quiet about the matter, as it was a private decision that had been made by Lauren London and the production company. Rosenberg took to his radio show to voice his opinion on the matter, and did not hold back. He was critical of Schultz for disclosing the information, calling it a dumb move, and adding that it was not appropriate for him to reveal something that was meant to be private. Rosenberg also emphasized the importance of being appreciative of Lauren London's return to acting after the tragic death of her husband, Nipsey Hussle. According to Rosenberg, fans should be grateful that London is back on the big screen, rather than focusing on the details of her on-screen kisses. He added that the news of Lauren London's return to acting was a positive thing, and it was unfortunate that Schultz had overshadowed this positive news with his announcement about the CGI kissing scene. Rosenberg also pointed out that Schultz's announcement could have a negative impact on London's career, as it could be seen as a reflection of her professionalism and work ethic. Rosenberg also criticized Schultz for being unprofessional and lacking the maturity to handle sensitive information with care. He noted that Schultz's announcement could cause harm to London's reputation and career, and that he should have thought more carefully about the consequences of his actions. The radio host went on to say that Schultz's announcement was an example of why many people in the entertainment industry prefer to keep their private lives private. He added that the public should respect their privacy and not intrude on their personal lives. Rosenberg also pointed out that Schultz's announcement could have a negative impact on the movie itself. He noted that the focus of the movie should be on the story, the characters, and the performances, not on the behind-the-scenes details. Rosenberg's comments sparked a lot of discussion online, with many people taking to social media to share their opinions on the matter. Some agreed with Rosenberg's perspective while others felt that Schultz was entitled to share the information. Despite the controversy, Rosenberg's comments highlight the importance of respecting people's privacy and being mindful of the consequences of our actions. In the entertainment industry, it's crucial to be professional and handle sensitive information with care, as it can have a significant impact on people's careers and reputations. In conclusion, Peter Rosenberg's comments about Andrew Schultz's announcement were a reminder of the need for professionalism and respect for privacy in the entertainment industry. Whether we agree with Rosenberg's perspective or not, his comments highlight the importance of being mindful of the consequences of our actions and treating others with respect and dignity.